Hey church, welcome to this week's devotions. My name is James and I'm from Audacious Church, Chester, and I'm a first year college student. This week we're looking at the power of the Holy Spirit and his impact on our lives, in our lives and through our lives. Each day we build on the last as we look at who, why and the what of the Holy Spirit. So we spent this week looking at the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So let's finish by making a commitment to live by the Spirit. Being baptised in the Holy Spirit is more than an event. It is the beginning of a life lived in the power of God. So how do we stay soaked in the Spirit and navigate this journey of living by the Spirit though? So firstly, like we heard yesterday, it's about daily immersion. Just as we need water every single day, we need the Holy Spirit continually. Let me remind you again of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, where Paul encourages us to not get drunk on wine, which leads us to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. It's an ongoing choice, a daily plunge into the depths of God's presence. So next, let's talk about cooperation. And in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, it urges us to, since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Imagine dancing with a partner, right? You move and they move with you. Living with the Spirit is a beautiful partnership, a constant awareness of His leading and our willingness to follow. So thirdly, cultivate a spiritual fruit. In Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23, it outlines them. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. These aren't just tick boxes, but they're a reflection of the Spirit's work within us. Nurture these qualities through prayer, reading God's word and allowing the Spirit of God to shape our lives. Thirdly, church, let's cultivate spiritual fruit. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 outlines them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now these aren't just tick box tick box exercises, they're actually a reflection of the Spirit's work within us. Nurture these qualities through prayer, reading God's word, and allowing the Spirit to shape your character. Also remember that the fruit of the Spirit is a bundle, not just a separate piece to pick and choose from. Lastly, don't forget to listen. The Holy Spirit speaks, guides, and comforts. John chapter 16 verse 13a assures us, but when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. Take time in prayer and meditation to listen to the still, the small voice within. Let's stay drenched in the spirit this week, church, living each day fully aware of his presence. It's not a one-time baptism. It's a continual journey of deepening our relationship with the spirit, allowing him to transform our lives. He has the power to transform our lives. I love you friends, church, have a great weekend, hope to see you soon, enjoy the rest of your day.